A $2 million mansion reduced to ash. A fire ripped through this Friendswood home during the height of last night's storms. The family escaped, but the cause of the fire is still a mystery. Our Brandon Walker is live tonight outside that home off of West Parkwood Avenue with the very latest now on the investigation into the fire. Brandon. And Lauren, by no stretch was this an easy fire to put out. A few challenges for the Friendswood Fire Department as well. Mutual aid, by the way, investigators remain here on scene. Point your direction to that fire hydrant there. That's the closest fire hydrant. Firefighters had to run some 1,100 feet of hose to the house to put out this fire. It took hours to do so, and of course, the weather didn't help at all. In Friendswood overnight, heavy rain added fuel to the fire. It was also the height of, uh, we had several lightning strikes in the area, high winds, high rains, and a lot of other responses going on at the time. Weather not the blame, at least right now, but what caused this three-story mansion to combust proved top priority for investigators who all day worked to find their answer. Someone was home when the fire started, smelled smoke, officials say, and called 911. Timestamp 1030 Thursday night. There was someone there at the time of the fire. They were able to get out. Good news and just in time as flames lit the night sky, offset by lightning's flicker. This home, now private residential, was once an event venue, the White Ranch House, valued at $2.6 million. Now charred sticks mark what's left of the wooden frame. Not much else left to salvage. It's a total loss. Uh, it, it looks as though that will be the case. Looks as though that will be the case, a total loss to this mansion, a piece of history here in the Friendswood community. It is key again to point out the fact that despite that big fire, despite the weather, no one was hurt. We are live for you tonight in Friendswood. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.